Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, and welcome to my midweek shave. It's been um, over a week since my last shave. Well, not my last shave, but my last shave video. Um, I got a bit of a cold sore attack, um, and when I get a cold sore, my whole face gets uh, affected. So um, I uh, skipped the, the shave videos last 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 one. I think it was on. Weekend, actually I didn't shave on the weekend at all. Anyway, we'll get straight into this one. Uh, I've already got the pre-shave on. Um, we're using the Made in Australia TRICARE from Aldi Goat's Milk and Glycerin Soap. That's our pre-shave or cleanser. And um, we'll do the overhead camera for the some of the other products. Okay, we've got the soap here, which is the vegan version of All Things Nice from um, Whispers from the Woods. And it's a spiced sandalwood and honey. And there's the ingredient list there. As you can see, I've used it a bit already. This is a, it comes in an 80 gram tub this they also have a non-vegan version but it's still uh, vegetal um, in a bigger tub in a four ounce tub but it's a wonderful sweetish sandalwoody spicy honey scent wonderful scent it's one of my favorite scents from um, whispers from the woods so that's what we're using oh, actually i'll leave it there open because i'm going to need to scoop some out and the brush we're going to use is also an Australian brush. This is the Shave by Dave Rock Pool. You probably can't see it, but you can. It's designed so when you look down into it, it looks like a bit of a rock pool un effect. And of course, it nice and sparkly and in there it's got a cashmere knot 26 mil set to uh, I think 56 55 56 millimeters loft so I'll just um, stick that aside and then uh, we'll get the bowl out get my scoop Get about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe a touch more of soap, and then we put the top back on. So it's a normally crope type soap. And we just spread it around. And we can dip the fingers and just moisten it a bit if we want to. We don't have to do that. So that's probably about a mil or so of water already. So I'll grab my brush. Um, and once you just dip it in the water here in the sink, give it a squeeze, shake. Just starting moist. And we'll get started.
and it's another wonderful leather from an Australian soap. Wonderful scent. Five or six out of ten on the scent strength. Oh, wonderful comforting scent. Okay, let's uh, re-wet the face. I should try not to say okay too often. It annoys me when I see it in other people's videos, but I don't know. What can you do? Let's paint this lovely stuff on. Oh, I really like this scent. Nothing wrong with that leather. Beautiful, lovely shine on it. I didn't actually, I had no shave on the weekend. I did shave on Monday. So I've got, uh, what's that, two, three days growth? Actually, I shaved on Tuesday. Yeah, so it's only a two days growth. I didn't shave on the weekend at all. Like I said. Because of the uh, cold saw there, it's a bit hard to shave around. And my face was a bit swollen and sore. That's what happens when I get my uh, tack on the cold saw. And attacked by the virus. So it, Causes the cold sore. So the razor we're using is a vintage Gillette Super Speed from Made in England. This one, uh, which is normally what you get in Australia, the ones that come to Australia are made in England. There is maybe some that were made here. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. And the blade we've got in it is the Super, Sh Super Shave X uh, Platinum and Chrome Multi Coat Polymer Coated as well. On its second use, because I used it on uh, Tuesday. Now I can't say the Super Speed is my favourite razor, but it is the razor that my father used when I was young. In the 50s and 60s, 1950s and 60s. This is not his actually uh, his razor, but he had one the same, the same model. I don't know what happened to it. Because he stopped using um, the razors for a while because of uh, mental health issues. He also stopped using electric tools for the same reason. Well, the weather here has been lovely and warm. Actually quite warm for this time of year. We're still in mid-spring. 
and we're getting into the low 20s now. About 23 top temperature expected today, but it is um, overcast and a few showers around today. But it's still warm. And look at that leather. Yeah. Beautiful. Put a little bit of alum on my fingers. I didn't put any on before. It just helps with the grip when you're playing around after you've been playing around with the soap and leather. The reason I don't, it's not one of my favourite razors, I find the, the handle a little skinny. Sort of a uh, medium mild type aggression for me. I do feel the blade a bit. So I'm being quite gentle. Many shavers say no pressure, but you've got to have some sort of pressure to actually put the blade on your face, so you don't just, you just don't push it, right? You just sort of pull it along. So just sort of place it on the skin and then pull it along. Anyway, that's the technique I use. I should be going across the grain. Uh, well. I got uh, out of sync because I was talking. <laughs> oh, it hurt. Because I'm scratching around the cold sore area there. Still got a uh, bit of scabbing on it. So there's still a few more days for it to heal up properly. Ah, very nice. Plenty of slipness on that side. Wonderful scent. I just love the scent. I don't normally like um, sweet scents, but this one's really nice. It's more honey sweet. Nothing wrong with the stability of the leather. Now I should go against the grain, or south and north. The Super, super Shave X blades are doing uh, very well. I think it's the second or third razor I've tried them in. Smooth and sharp. Not super sharp though. Uh, just 
Hein? Good sharpness. Using mostly shorter strokes, um, shorter strokes make it easier, I find, to keep the pressure down. Residual, not super, super residual, but it's um, there's, there's enough plenty there. You probably would have to re-wet it. Touch-ups under the jawline, chin, a little bit on the moustache area. Buffering. Sort of a J hook on the throat area and very light on the bottom lower neck area. Good spot there. And a loop. Oh, that's wonderful. Always nice to have a shave up if you after a little bit of sickness. might be said there. That's the leftovers. Alright then, um, I'll do an analog test. So just rinse off a bit more. I'll probably get some feedback because I, I normally do with the uh, super speed. Tingle 
Jungs. Up to maybe a three, just there in that spot there. Couple of tingles on the cheek. Moustache, nothing more than a one. Did quite well. Nothing on the chin. Everywhere else is fine. Lower neck is good. Nothing more than one. So just the, the one spot here. Yep, that's it. Alright then, we'll rinse that off. I'll give it a yeah, I'll still give it a four, uh, no, four, five, six out of ten on the sense ring. Very nice shave, beautiful, very enjoyable. All right, then let's get into the post shave. We're starting off with the, the Jenna, Oliveira, and Witch Hazel. Just a gel, so it's just one squish. In the scalp, like normal. Emu oil cream from Australian Creams, GNM Australian Creams. This is a big jar, 250 ml or 250 gram. On the other, oh, gram it is, 250 gram. I can pick it up here uh, locally on, at my uh, Coles or Safeway or uh, Woolworths supermarket. Wonderful scent. Splash it around. The scent doesn't last long for me, uh, maybe an hour, two hours. Which is all I really like for a aftershave. Ah, wonderful. Okay, that's my shave for the day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.